G'day, we're doing a little screen recording on uh, the use of Wikibooks to generate textbooks um, and to maintain textbooks uh, up to date and things like that. We're looking at the Anatomy and Physiology of Animals textbook that was created at Otago Polytechnic by Ruth Lawson in the Vet Nursing Department. And uh, this screen recording will simply demonstrate how to generate a printable text from the text that is on Wikibooks. So here we are looking at the first page. We have um, a title page image, a cover image basically for the printed book and the contents. And over on the left we see this create a book box. We simply add wiki page, click add wiki page. You see now that show collection we have one page. Now what we have to do is do this for each of the content sections. So if we load up the first page, chemicals, here we are looking at chemicals, much the same layout with a chapter image uh, and, and uh, information throughout. We go over here and add wiki page for this one. Now we have two pages in the collection. So we go back now to the main contents page, scroll down, now we're looking at classification and add wiki page. Now we have three pages in the collection. Go back to the main content page. We'll look at the cell. And much the same layout again. And add wiki page. And so on and so forth. Now, uh, when you have gone through all of the uh, pages, these this contents here um, is actually one page, so it's only uh, from this contents page back here that we need to launch the uh, various pages. But once we've gone through all of those pages and added them all to the collection, then you click show collection. Right, now what this gives us is a way to manage the collection. We can call the book something, a subtitle. Um, we can order it as a printed book and check out PDA Press for that one. I haven't tested that out yet, but that's much the same as lulu.com, uh, except that uh, it's a different company, PDA Press. Worth checking out, I'd say. I know they're in development. Maybe it looks like they're ready to go. They'll print, um, bind, and send the book to you. You can reorder uh, the pages that we've added here, so we can trash them and uh, show that section. And we can download. So we can download as a PDF, or we can download as an open document text. That's a text that's editable. Now, last time I did this, uh, open, doc open document text basically is a, uh, a word processing format used in OpenOffice um, <clears throat> and any other um, open standards word processor. Uh, it's still in development, the open document text. Uh, basically, it gives you an editable version of what you've just downloaded. The only problem with this one is it's not yet downloading the images, so you lose the images. So the PDF is still working. And with lulu.com, uh, you can upload the PDF to lulu.com and they'll print and bind it, but it might be worth checking out this PDF Press alternative. And then you can save this collection and share it with your students. So you could basically go through each one uh, and then save the collection uh, and give this link to the students who can again go through this process of ordered, ordering as a printed book and or downloading it as a PDF, etc. All right, so what we're going to do is download the PDF. And it gives us status, progress status, 43-51%, fetching images, layout, um, pages, 37 pages, seems to be 100% and now it's processing. This is all happening on the Wikibook server and it will give us back a uh, link to click here to download the book. I've clicked that and it's loading. Still loading. And still loading. Basically it's opening a PDF. I wanted to show you the layout that's still coming. Unfortunately at the Polytech we struggle with uh, bandwidth from time to time. 
and here it is. So we have all the pages laid out in a standard layout. It has the images, chapters, all of the links are now made footnotes and there they are there, listed as external and into the next page and the next page and so on and so forth. Just zoom out a little bit and we can scroll all the way down. It's quite a large PDF this one and it even comes with the full and comprehensive copyright license that Wikibooks uses which is the GFDL. Um, I think Hopefully that's going to change to the standard, uh, well not standard, but the popular Creative Commons uh, share-alike license somewhere down the track. But at the moment they're still using the GFDL and it has quite a lot of information about how and when you can copy it. So that's how you generate um, a book from Wikibooks. I hope you find that useful.